people, my name's Dillinger from Digital Hippos and today I'll be speaking to Winston McCall, the lead singer of one of my all-time favourite hardcore metal bands, Parkway Drive. Formed in 2003, Parkway Drive is an Australian metalcore band from Byron Bay, New South Wales. As of 2010, Parkway Drive has released three full-length albums, being Killing With A Smile, Horizons and Deep Blue, as well as a DVD that I recommend everybody goes and gets a copy of so they can safely say that they own one of the best music DVDs on the planet. Plus it'll give you a much greater look into the band's beginnings, history and epic live presence. Before the release of their second album, Horizons, the band were placed on the bill for the US Vans Warped Tour 2007 as the only Australian band on the tour. After the release of Horizons, however, the band toured through the US, Australia and Europe with such bands as Killswitch Engage, Bury Your Dead, Darkest Hour and many others. Now known and loved worldwide, the band's third album, Deep Blue, was released onto the Australian iTunes on the 25th of June and after four hours the album reached top second position on the iTunes album charts in Australia, with Eminem's recovery album seizing first position. Deep Blue was released in the United States and Canada on the 29th of June 2010 and is now available worldwide. I managed to get onto the phone with Winston to speak with him in regards to Deep Blue and how it is his most personal album to date. Winston, how you doing, buddy? Doing good, how you doing? Good, mate, good. Um, stoked to be talking to you, man. I've been following your band for quite some time. Um, uh, really, really, really enjoyed the DVD, man. I, I like Every single person who pretty much comes around to my house, I make them watch the DVD, and I've gotten a few people into it who aren't even into hardcore or metal or anything like that, so... Yeah, just wanted to say it's a pleasure to be talking to you. Cool, man. Thanks a so lot. No worries, man. Um, well, first off, can you just um, let us know how things been, what you've been up to in recent times? Um, just, yeah. Um, at the moment, we're actually in Edmonton on the last part of Walk Tour. So we've been, we've been on tour on Walk from like I think like five weeks now. So basically, uh, since the bit before Dead Blue came out, Well, what I wanted to speak to you about was just in regards to Deep Blue. Um, great album. I really, really dug it, by the way, man. Um, um, just wanted you to elaborate on the concept of the album a little. Now, I got the pre I got the uh, little bit of a press release pretty much specifying what yeah. it was, but I was wondering if you could go into a, in, into a bit more detail with um, the concept of a... Yeah, yeah, sure. Awesome, man. Yeah, um... Basically, we, we wanted to write an album that was basically all encompassing when it came to like the, the concept of the lyrics, uh, tying in with the, the music, the sound, and the theme, and everything in total. And uh, lyrically, uh, it's, it's strange. Like I just, I, I like the idea of writing a concept album that loaded as a, a, a narrative all the through. And I, I guess I wrote, I wrote this story that basically. That, it's kind of simple, but it's basically the story of, I guess, I guess disillusionment and uh, isolation that I, I find pretty common in the world today, and it just basically follows the, the main character's journey through, from, I guess, from this world to, uh, I guess, another, another plane of consciousness, which he, he tries to find within himself, which is the only, the only way he seems to be able to find that is at the bottom of the ocean, and basically the resulting consequences of that. You, I think everybody has an inkling that when they look at something, they know that something's not right. But I think it's gotten to the point where people choose to ignore it. And yeah, definitely. And I, 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 to, to be honest, I don't think it's even a choice to ignore. I think it's a it's a, it's a fact of conditioning. Yeah. The human condition these days to accept what this this like it, it's very strange if you if you have to take the time to step back and look at the way human, uh, especially in Western culture. Uh, uh, Shown the way to exist, they're, they're told that the best thing in life is is comfort and doing the least amount possible. Yeah, and, and it's, it's it's really strange because when you look at the rest of the the, the way the world operates, the way that animals operate, uh, other than humans, it comfort doesn't come into it. It's, it's, it's survival, mm. and it seems like our emphasis on comfort um, seems to stem towards the comfort of the few uh, as a result of the and it seems to be very twisted around and it's, it's a very, I don't know, a very dark time for 
No, I... Especially considering that's what we're, we're programmed to do. Like, you, you're told to go to work, you mm. go to school, to learn these specific ways of thinking and go and get a job and produce this basically nothing that's for your life, which, which will in turn give you some kind of comfort. But at the same time, like, there's no, we don't live in a, in, a, in a time where you go to work and you see the, the endeavours of your, your label be it in food or shelter or yeah. anything like that you're, you're told to punch in numbers on a computer or be a statistic on a on a pay sheet it's yeah great. Yeah, the funny thing is, I think a lot of people actually feel the same way as what you've actually written down on the album because I know I sure as hell do, and I felt that way for a while. You get very angry. Yeah. And no one's doing anything about it because of this. And I believe it's exactly what you said. It's this preconditioning of what um, you know. It starts from when we go to school, man. I mean, they pretty much exactly, yeah. set you set put you in this mindset where it's basically it's it's normality. It's 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 the way society works. You've got to do your part. Yeah, even the, completely. And it's got. Like, it seems like schooling, schooling is less of a, an education process. It is as it is like a, a I guess a conditioning process for what your role you're going to fill in this pre like preordained I guess system of of uh, society. So, yeah. pages and pages of people saying it's about a guy breaking up with a girl, it's about a girl breaking up with a guy, this, that and the other, and I'm just like, guys, get a fucking clue. It's, a, you, yeah. you, you, you're pretty, you, you're pretty much labeling this song as the exact thing that, that it's like speaking out against, you know? Yeah, so, 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 I've just wanted to confirm that, I, I just wanted to, um, yeah, yeah, it is, yeah, you'd be surprised how many, I, I have no problem with people interpreting lyrics as something totally opposite from what I've, I've, I've meant it yeah. to be written out. Blue, some st like some really personal tracks for you. I mean, I, I know that the whole album is probably personal, like is personal, like, like collectively. But if, if you could pick one or two tracks which really speak from like d deep within you, what, 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 which ones would you, would you, um, would you focus on? Um, I'd say Deliver Me definitely. Yeah. Um, and Home to the Heartless. They both, they both come from a different perspective. Deliver Me definitely. Um, very more introspective track and Oh It's the Heartless is about the town I'm from but yeah but both of those ones it, it, you're right it's, it's probably my personal album I've ever written but um, they, they definitely come from different perspectives of I guess my personality which is kind of strange it's hard to compare them all <laughs> yeah no worries man well listen it's been great talking to you Winston um, I know you probably hear this from a lot of the guys but I'll try and um, make my way up to you and say hi and see if I can sit, sit down and have a chat That'd with you awesome. at some point man all right, but Wait, no, worries. no worries. Thanks for talking, man, and I appreciate you. I appreciate your time. Get your hands no up, All right, take, take it. Wow. Yeah.